We've been looking at your imaginary career as the owner of a chicken fast food outlet and analysing your supply patterns with the help of your own supply curve. But you're not alone. You've got competition. There are other people supplying fried chicken too. And if we look at you all together, we get an understanding of the market supply. In the same way we derive market demand, to get the market supply curve, we simply add all the individual suppliers together. From this, we can derive our market supply table. The amounts produced at the various prices by each supplier are added together to give us the quantity supplied by the whole market. Using these values, we can now plot the market supply curve, showing the total quantities of a good or service that all suppliers will produce at each possible price. The market supply curve has the same properties as the individual supply curve. It's upward sloping, showing that an increase in the price increases the quantity supplied and a drop in the price decreases the quantity supplied. A movement along the supply curve reflects a change in quantity supplied caused by a change in price. A shift of the market supply curve occurs when factors other than price change. This is referred to as a change in supply. There are other factors which influence supply. Let's consider the impact of an increase in the number of other suppliers. As more suppliers enter the market, at each price, a higher quantity of fried chicken pieces is supplied than before. Now, is this represented by a movement along the supply curve or a shift of the supply curve itself? Well, each supplier is still supplying the same quantity at each price, but because there are more of them, the overall market output increases, resulting in a shift of the supply curve. In this case, the supply curve shifts to the right. At each price, the market is now supplying more than before. So, to recap, our supply equation now reads... Supply is a positive function of the price, Px. A rise in the price causes an increase in the quantity supplied, and a movement up the supply curve takes place. If the price falls, we get a movement back down the curve. There is a negative relationship between supply and the cost of production. An increase in the cost of production causes suppliers to produce less at each price, so there's a leftward shift of the supply curve and the change in supply overall. A drop in costs will cause a shift the other way. An increase in the number of suppliers, improvements in technology and an increase in expected price will also cause a rightward shift of the supply curve. Simply remember, a change in price means a change in the quantity supplied, which is a movement along the curve, while a change in any of the other factors causes a shift of the whole curve, reflecting an overall change in supply.